The Snowstorm by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. Announced by all the trumpets of the sky, arrives the snow, and driving o'er the fields seems nowhere to alight. The whitened air hides hills and woods, the river and the heaven, and veils the farmhouse at the garden's end. The sled and traveller stopped, the courier's feet delayed, all friends shut out, the housemates sit around the radiant fireplace, enclosed in a tumultuous privacy of storm. Come see the north wind's masonry, out of an unseen quarry evermore furnished with tile. The fierce artificer curves his white bastions with projected roof round every windward stake, or tree, or door, speeding the myriad-handed, his wild work so fanciful, so savage. Nought cares he for number or proportion. Mockingly, on coop or kennel, he hangs parian wreaths. A swan-like form invests the hidden thorn, fills up the farmer's lane from wall to wall, maugre the farmer's size, and at the gate a tampering turret overtops the work. And when his hours are numbered, and the world is all his own, retiring as he were not leaves, when the sun appears, astonished art, to mimic in slow structures, stone by stone, built in an age, the mad wind's night-work, the frolic architecture of the snow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.